tough. And against Mixer, too. That was amazing. Let's see if Scruffy can pull it off against Santa. This is a run back, too. Like, Scruffy was 2 0 by Santa earlier in the tournament. And now it's going to be them getting that la that second shot. See if they can take out the person that knocked them to losers. Oh, yeah. I'm interesting. Santa starting with a 1 0 lead. Uh, this best of five. I hope he's starting soon. As I hope we get to see some more of loss, uh, uh, more of a fool's bait, as we've seen a few of them so far, and I'm quite happy with it. Me too. I mean, it's my favorite map. So, oh, honestly, yeah. I say that. I say that, but I embargo? really like the changes to embargo. Yeah. yeah, I like the way that embargo's got gotten shifted for one v one, which we can't see because it got broken in the last batch. But in the previous batch, it was working fine, and it. I really like the way it's set up. Like the, the fact that the expansions are kind of placed in awkward positions that you can, like little caves that get opened up over time i think it's a really cool design yeah i do love this the straightforward this it feels like straightforward map right you just go straight yes. to your opponent as well there's a few towers in the way uh but yeah just going for it directly is uh is just a great way to go but you it. do have side pass you do have oh, yeah. side pass in case the center has been taken yep yep a few different ways attacking there's a rock defending it as well there, there's a way to go for it directly right there are a lot yeah, of I I can't yeah so I cannot in fairness say that Fool's Bay is necessarily my favorite map, but I do like it. Oh yeah, I mean we're just happy to not be playing on Lost Province from time to time, you know. We're just yes, happy exactly. To especially with the new one v one map, once that gets set up, that'll be. I think it'll be very defensive because the way it's set up is this big high ground ring on the entire thing. I don't know. It seems like a really a lot of uh, different attack paths, which make it different. Like if, if you want to go true. all this way around, but the thing is, if you go around, that means you're not defending the middle, which someone can just jump on you. Uh, so it's going to be a lot about vision. You got to keep your vision up on the corners, and that's going to be a hard thing to, to handle. I had not thought of that, but you're exa you're right. That's that is a weakness that could be a problem. Mm -hmm. So with that, though, that won't be until the, probably the next patch. So for now, we are going to have either Fools Bay or Lost Province up to Santa for the first map. Mm, yeah. Well, Santa gets to decide first. Santa. Has gone with both masters. Well, he's won. Has he lost a game yet? No, Santa's gone 4 0 so far. Santa has. Game. Yeah, Santa's been flawless. Let's see which map he wants. And flawless on all maps because he's played two on Lost Province and two on, on Fool's Bay as well. So nothing really pushing him back in any way. Nothing pushing back his confidence levels. Is, mm. He's primed to win this first turn, but this seems to be uh, his day. October, October 1st, 2022. Santa wins his first Alpha tournament. Let it be known. <laughs> well, okay, no, 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 no. Scruffy, Scruffy is still pushing back. Like, Scruffy yes. Back? Scruffy, Santa's well, no, Scruffy hasn't, Scruffy is still in. I mean, I'm kind of looking forward to Santa getting another second and just seeing his legend grow for the next one. Maybe the, it'll be the, the next Jay one. Dong. Oh, the yeah. The Jadong of Immortal. Mm. Was it Jadong that was always the second to Kong? That was thought yellow. So. I thought it was yellow. Oh, you're thinking of StarCraft 2. I'm thinking of Brood War. No, I'm thinking I'm... Yellow, was in, Yellow was in Brood War. Yellow was always second to Boxer. Oh, yeah. No, that was way before I was watching it. My bad. Oh, yeah. But that was There's the always that second place, yeah. That's yeah, you're cause... right. That was that was the first one that was yeah. really the, the eternal second place. Yeah. Because I feel like Jadong won quite a bit of Brood War. Like, yes, he lost a lot to Flash, but at the same time, he wasn't... Okay, yeah, Flash was just a level above everyone, but Jadong yeah. was really winning quite a lot as well. Just, uh, well, Flash... While Yellow could yeah, never was... actually win a second. He could never win a tournament. Well, at least Jadon won one pretty early, I think. Yeah, it was myself. right when Flash got on the scene. Yeah. But that's that's a different game, so that's right, man. That that is that. the point is the point is Santa Claus is our yellow. Mm. For now. For now. Which For may now. change. But oh, that's yeah, up to Scruffy. Because it used to be Magical. Santa. It used to be Magical before yes, he turned it into Magical. Oh the I Magicals. Know. Oh yeah, Magical's on like five first places in the last three months. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Magical is the one that's up there. Okay, Walter's Bay time. Santa Claus going for Mal this time. Just dancing Ooh. around all the immortals. Ooh, Aru versus Aru time. This is the dance we were looking for. Yeah, if hey, you were sick of Karoth versus Karoth, we got good news for you. We're not mm -hmm. playing that today. Or not this game. Ooh, Aether first. Aether first for Santa. So he has something planned. He's not going for the super eco build. He has an Aether first goal one for him. I don't think they go for those builds with Aru. I've never seen them do any... Like, with Aru, the, more often, they've tended to go for, like, mass mass Hunters or mass Bone Stalkers. Yeah, well, it depends, right? And Aru versus Aru is very different from Aru versus Croft as well. Uh, but double Aether here, that's... 
that's a tech build and a half. We'll see what he goes up for next. Definitely not expanding. That's my guess. Wants his units out fast. That's pretty obvious. Yeah, that, that would make sense. Just trying to think, like, what tech to go with. Because Aru needs a ton of ether to make tech work. Something we've seen a lot... Oh, wait. What? Okay, what he's going for the towers. He's going for the towers. Wait, he's not going for the towers. That was my guess. Cause yeah, because he can we'll... deal with the workers. Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah, because you can't build on your opponent's uh, opponent's root ways. Like, can you? No, you can't. I'm pretty sure. You cannot. Yep. Yeah, root way is not. It's not just you need the thing. It's you need yours. Because yeah. we have seen this a bit in the the last few one v one tournaments what where we saw this workers go for the towers just to get that early pyre in exchange for that early alley. Uh, but doesn't seem to be the case quite. Okay, no, he's going to build stuff in the back door of his opponent. He sent a okay. debuff. Okay. Sure not detected. Yeah, that makes okay. So they could Wait. set up a blood well. I was thinking, is the main actually removed here, or are you able to build a million there? Probably not. But Santa would have tested that, right? Can you build a main yeah. your opponent's? Uh, you opponent's can't. Main that's you can't. It's not there. But funny. what you can do, what you can do is make a blood well once it gets fifty pyre. Santa gets fifty pyre. They build a blood well, and then they build stuff off that blood well. And they have the units to start taking pyre as well, or they can just wait 30 seconds. Like in either case, Santa Santa has a plan. And that plan also involved taking out one of the neutral towers. They are setting up. Are they gonna get scouted? No, Santa themselves double checking to make sure Scruffy is not wise to this. There's the blood well, Santa's stage one. Uh stage Same one time. of uh, Santa's plan. Stage one of Santa's proxy plan, same time making sure to have mass hunters to make it go like, oh, Santa's going aggressive. I mean, they went for one base, they went for early ether, want to go aggressive and cover tech, right? Yeah, that's exactly what they want to do. The question, of course, is where do they want to do that? Does Santa have a god heart at this point, or nothing They yet? do. They got one. Okay, they got a god heart, so... But again, like I said, like Scruffy would be thinking, oh, well, that's just, you know, that's just standard tech play. They're going to go for fast resonance, and they're going to deal with fast resonance. Okay, cool, whatever. I'm going to go for... A lot of bone stock. Wait, what is Scruffy? I mean, thinking I Sand is doing. I wouldn't be even surprised if it's just I cores because I cores can really ruin you know bone stalkers day before res. You know what? You're right. You're I oh, really powerful. Maybe. I was about to say you're right because no neuroside, but the neuroside's up. So the Santa Claus has their tech. They had the tech set up for oh they do whatever they want. Santa can just yeah. do whatever. Scruffy clearly knows there's something and wants to take out Santa's base and just generally wreck Santa having the lower economy. When they have the timing, because they know they know it's tech, they know there's a timing window. That is what they're trying to hunt down here. Yeah, and if yeah, if you're going to go to the back door, go for the Bastion. Maybe uh, Bastion is defending that main base. And what's oh, Santa yeah, going for? I core and Head resonant. Mm, a mix. So he's going for the complete uh, mech army, the well, the Amber army. I'll call it. Yeah, complete I like, Amber that. I like that name. That's match. a really good name. Yeah, let's go with that. Thank that you. that makes so much. That that is a. I love it. I love it. That is what I'm gonna call it now, the Amber Army. Oh man, the the neural site actually blocks the bone from going into the wrong spot, and you can even be, be, bring in your symbiotes if you want to try and do more damage. But here come in the Amber units at the back. Okay, bone stalkers come in from the left side to do some damage there. Yeah, Scruffy is. This is their only hope, really, is taking advantage of this opening. It's just a false hope, as San is. They're already there. Like the the base is inside their own. Still, Santa's not going to have a lot of alloy to work with here. Like, this is... He has one base worth of... Bit of, of the, with, he has one base worth of the Bastion, at the very least. He always has that. They do. Uh, but Scruff, yeah, Scruffy can try Unlike, and divide that as well. Well, yeah, but Scruffy's not going to have that Bastion very shortly. Oh. <laughs> Scruffy's going to be running pretty ragged. They have no economy <laughs> outside of their natural expansion. They have... They have Thrums coming um, up, so there's a bit of time... There is some time, eventually. It's just... Santa's coming in hard. They are coming in hot. I don't think Scruffy can get this in time. The Thrums will help. But just the amount of damage that's going to be dealt here by Santa. Not to mention, yeah, they that... can build Wraith Bows. Like, the Thrums are not for, are not going to get through this for free. Yeah, the damage output is really quick on those uh, on those units. So is Scruffy just going for the base trade instead? What does he want to do, go for at this point to try and defend this? Santa is sending his Mass Hunters to come in and to help defend those units against those Thrums. Uh, but how fast can those Thrums come in? Bone Stalkers against Citadel is not the fight you would usually want to take as Scruffy taking his third base. Oh no! Is it gonna live? Are the kill gonna get- The kid will kill it?! <laughs> Red Harvest mm -hmm. for the win for Santa Claus here! 
One That's base remains. One base remains for Scruffy, and a ton of mass hunters coming around the side. Thrums will not be able to stop them for free, but this army size from Scruffy should defend. Still, Santa now up a base. The base trade attempt from Scruffy is not quite able to deal enough damage to be a threat, as Santa has also built up outside of their base, and they still <laughs> have the proxy. Yeah, Santa, Santa has a lot going for him. He did lose the Efer, one Efer mod, but he has a lot of Efer saved up as well, so he can build a few more units if he wants to. Yeah, um, Yellow's been their current limiting factor, in fact. Yeah. But they got that back. Oh, okay. So Santa's, oh, Santa is back on track. And Scruffy... They, they must have clued in by now that there's a problem. They're going straight forward. They know. They know. Yeah, losing this might actually be pretty dangerous for Santa as that's all of his, well, most of his army production is from here, right? Did he do enough damage all to... All of it. Yeah, did he do enough damage with this push? Not quite sure. Maybe Scruffy survives this and, oh, the Zol at the back base and stopping Santa from getting any economy at all. So Scruffy, gotta say, like, they did hold this off well enough. They still have two bases to work with. They still have a reasonably strong army and they're able to stop the proxy. Like this, this cheese has failed. This cheese has failed. Scruffy defends. Uh, that was a beautiful, beautiful play from Santa, but losing the two Amber Rooms in the proxy location is so expensive, and that's really going to put him back well, to the Stone Ages at this point as he tries to figure out the best way forward. Expanding and going to the late game, I suppose, might be the way. But those if they can will survive be harassing that like long. Crazy. Yeah, the firms will be harassing like crazy forever. I mean, these Master Hunters are helping. Like, the Master Hunters got upgraded thanks to the earlier Red Harvest. It's just that it's... Again, Santa Claus now has to be just bouncing around the map, trying to make sure that they're not getting wrecked by Thrums. While Scruffy can build out. They've gotten their main base rebuilt. They've stopped the proxy. They've gotten a th they're getting a third. So they're up two bases. And while they lost their Bastion, it's back online. Oh. Yeah, killing a Bastion is a really good boost for a little bit, but it always comes back online after a bit, so you got to keep control of it. But of course, stopping your, your opponent's uh, economy is great. And... Scruffy for a counterattack again. Okay, Scruffy with the counterattack. That is undefended. Taken out. The oh, that was a great. Aerovore gone. Thrums have free reign. Mass Hunters will try to come in here. Offering upgraded Mass Hunters against Zol. Mass Hunters, <laughs> brave though they may be, decide this is not a fight worth taking. That means yeah, Santa Claus is back down to one base. Oh, Red Harvest comes down in the last second, but might be too little too late as... The base yeah. goes down, and Scruffy does not care anymore. He can run. Mass Hunters with offering to out outrun them. Invisibility comes back, and uh, Scruffy is on the run. They got their win. They cut. They took the base. Santa Claus is back down to one base. Scruffy is up to three, or well, up to two. Just about to get three. And has a, they have a healthy economy? They have a little. They have reasonably healthy tech. I mean, and compared to. Yeah, he didn't lose too much of his production either like Santa did, which really, something that just hurts him like crazy is having to rebuild all that production to rebuild some units. Oh man, Santa has a hill to climb in a half if he wants to get back into this as Erevor stops the Frums from doing more damage. But he needs more than that. He needs more than just surviving. He needs to thrive back into this. This is not a bad start. Mass Hunter's coming in here. They, oh, they don't, they need to not die. It's the key thing here. Upgrade Mass Hunter's do die and Santa realizes that is too much. Throws in the towel and gives Scruffy an even set going forward. Yep, we are left with a best of three for this grand final. Scruffy versus Santa. Don't think either of them has won a tournament yet, did they? Scruffy did. Scruffy they has won a tournament in the last three months. Ooh, okay. Yeah, they they won the break the game seven. So about about two months, like end of July. Was that a two v two or one v one? That was a one v one. Middle of July, oh, yeah. Really? That was 1v1. Scruffy got first, Santa got second. So, Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm, so the rematch is coming in between Santa and Scruffy. And yeah, Santa chooses Walt. Long time coming. Again. Yeah. All right. Santa going back to Rolls Bay. Fun stuff. What do they do? I mean, Santa didn't them... play straight up now. They didn't. Yes. They they played cheese. They went for hard cheese. That I mean, they went for really clever cheese, and the cheese also failed. So we have, if we start mm -hmm. needing when cheese fails clips... We have one right here. Oh, we have Santa. We have a lot from Santa. I'm sure Santa, if he if, if he has his sa game saved up, all the games he does gets magical triangle weird stuff. I'm sure he's got a You're lot right. of when cheese yeah. fails. It's it's his type of thing. 
Cheese does that. It does fail. That's why you refrigerate it. Oh, definitely. You 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 got to keep it cold and ready. And if ever something comes up, well, you can throw a block of frozen ice at the frozen cheese at someone. And that hurts more than just normal cheese, you know. I thankfully don't. Oh we God, don't get really... cold over here. Yeah, you get live a boring life, don't you? You get fires instead, instead of having the cold. And you can yes, it's very hot, cheese. not very cold. It's actually still summer. It's twenty eight degrees today. Well, that's kind of unfair. Things like I don't know how here. it is twenty eight. Like it is a high of twenty eight in the middle of what's or the beginning of what's supposed to be fall, and well, a high of twenty. For those of you who are in the states, that is a high of eighty two, and it is absolutely ridiculous. Like how is it? How is it that hot? What the heck? Is it humid as well? Is it raining? It's Vancouver. It's always humid. But it's not raining. Oh, if it was raining, it'd be like, it'd be 10 something. Mm. Let's see here. We do have a, we do have, oh, actually it's sunny right now. Ooh. Yeah, I, I made a mistake of putting on pants. I'm going to put on shorts later. Wow. No, I made pants and a hoodie because it's too cold for something else. But yeah, tomorrow will be uh, my last barbecue of this season probably. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Playing with a bit well, of fire as usual. Yeah, because you, you get to control fire. Oh yeah, we don't but get, we get to control cold. Course. Ooh, that's that, that's always the thing, right? Do you prefer cold or, or heat? What do you want cold. to live in? Cold. Yeah, yeah, because you can cold. put on some stuff to warm up. Uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Put it. I, I just easily warm up. I'm always cold, so I always have stuff on to warm up. But when it gets hot, it's like I don't notice until it's hot enough that I get grumpy. Mm. And then I'm grumpy, and then I I'm just unpleasant to be with. Yeah, magical asking, magical asking if cheese is clever, why does it fail? You know, cheese cheese is just something you try. It doesn't have to be good. Sometimes you just try to make ro milk rot. And sometimes yeah. it gets good, and sometimes it doesn't. And this time it just rotted yeah, through. Clever doesn't necessarily mean good. Yeah. Like you can try to put some uh, some mushrooms in it. It's like, oh, yeah, let's put some mushrooms in it. No, not all mushroom works. you got to put some special yeah. mushrooms for it to work. There's some, I mean, there's some really gross stuff that have been put in cheese to make cheese cheese. Like, I don't even want to get oh. into that because it's going to make people lose their lunch. Well, you know, some people, it's not even lunchtime yet. Well, I guess it's going to be lunchtime. Well, it's almost lunch too. for me. It's lunchtime oh. for me. So, yeah. And I had lunch just before this. Yeah, so you might lose it. I'm talking about some of the stuff that goes in cheese. Hmm. Okay, magical going in more about it. if opponent has no idea and manages to defend anyway, it's a bad build. Oh, that could be true unless like it's a, you know, sometimes it's just like a solid defense because you blind countered it. Sometimes it happens. I won't say that for Sanders cheese though. That was not a blind counter. No, <laughs> that was, was just that was just playing. That was well defended by Scruffy, and yep. they didn't lose a lot in the defense. Like they they lost their main. God, are they main grove heart? Yes, but once they got the thrums in there, it was at least enough to start pulling in, and the bone stalkers come in, and Scruffy was able to hold it off just by having been clever about what to go for. Like they knew they could likely expect something like this to happen. Yeah, sometimes just they were yeah. right too. Well, sometimes it just comes down to you lost too many units for it to be worth to kill that base, and there there is that break point, and sometimes you just go over it. Sometimes like, okay, I killed that base, I lost four units, totally worth it. I killed that base, I lost point two thousand worth of alloy, definitely not worth it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, unless you killed like sixteen hundred worth of alloy of the opponents at the same time. It's like, okay, then it can be worth it, but most of the time, if you lose your whole army, it wasn't worth it. <laughs> exactly. Now though, Santa is going for Orzum, which tells me they want to play straight. Oh yeah, that may tell me they want to play straight. Keep an eye on their moats, but they've been playing a very straightforward macro game when they've been playing Orzum. This does not look to be an exception. Yep. Well, Scruffy, last time we saw him against Mixu, go for those very fast runs. Santa saw it, probably knows how to defend it, but at the same time, that doesn't mean that's what Scruffy Scruffy's is going for. Scruffy has been playing straight Zol for a while, so Scruffy has a lot of stuff saved up in, in his uh, repertoire. Exactly. It's Scruffy's Scruffy's been around. They know what they're doing. Now it's 1-1. One, one. Best of five. Santa looking to win his first break the game. Looking to do his best here. And uh, playing defensive might just be the way. Well, defensive. Playing the slow, yeah. slow push Playing forward. Orism. Playing, playing the best. Playing the, playing the side where the best offense is a good defense. Yep. How Orism was designed to pork. And yeah, it is working pretty well, right? Or at least on Santa's side. It is it is working as designed. Whether that works well is a matter of personal <laughs> taste. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, of course, we're still in alpha, so nothing is uh, balanced yet. Everything is up to... Defend, up to uh... Oh, yeah. I mean, as I, I've mentioned before in several things, like, transports are a planned feature, Ooh. which 
significantly change the game when it comes to how defenses work. So if defenses are really strong now, then as the game gets further developed into like transports and such, defenses are going to be at a good state. So if they're overpowered now, then that's going to be a safer place from a balance perspective than if they're too weak now. Mm, yeah. Even if it is, even if it means games are a little bit longer, it's still going to be a lot easier to build the game around the insanely strong defenses. And there will be some insanely strong defenses. As I'm sure Orzum won't be the only defensive Immortal, as more will come in as, you know, game will launch a 15 Immortals. A few of them will be defensive for sure. I'm, you'd expect it, yeah. Oh, yeah. In any event, Santa Claus is focused. Santa Claus looking to get a lot of attack. So <laughs> looking just build. Do they? They have the one legion. They are not looking to take map control. Scruffy's, Scruffy's going to be winning on map control for the next few minutes. Yeah, Santa might just be going for his usual camp in the north, uh, getting that citadel up to help stop his opponent from just going uh, through there easily. They've clued in. No, Scruffy Ooh. knows Santa Claus doesn't have anything to defend. Scruffy wants to get some damage done. Whew. Drop and that's the first kills coming in. First kills, first damage. The Acropolis is not going to be defended. There's some Zentari coming in, but nothing to really hold the line. This natural could go down immediately, and Santa Claus doesn't have anything to stop it. They have no counterattack either. Empire and Broken, the only hope for Santa Claus right now. Oh, his Zentari so are coming in slowly but surely. And, you know, Zentari are pretty powerful, and Zoho will be running yeah. out very soon. So that might just be enough for him to defend. Yeah, this... Should be enough, Centauri trying to come in. Maybe? Moats. Maybe? Yeah, it's Maybe gonna be it's close. It's gonna be a call. close defense. Okay, they're getting pushed out of Hallowed Ground. Oh, well played by Scruffy. That micro was amazing. You go, you keep the Centauri out of the Hallowed Ground. They cannot contest the Bone, bone Stalkers directly. Okay, Moats always ready to, to jump in when they can. And they, ha they have a health boost since last time. So that helps a lot in his defense. And, you know, as long as Santa keeps his base alive, you won't be too far back. Scruffy. Uh, well, they keep it alive, that's good. That definitely helps. They had to burn a lot of pyre that slows down their ability to take map control because they can't set up power foundations and towers. So, very least, Scruffy Scruffy forced them to have less map control, lot, killed a few Zentari, and slowed down their economy for a good minute or two. Like, Scruffy yeah, so got a lot out of that raid and lost yeah. a handful of Bone Stalkers in the process. Oh, yeah, there we go. I was wondering what he was going for, the double Bone Canopy. He's going for From Strategy again. And let's see how Santa defends it versus Mixu's strategy. Mixu went for the Sentinels, and it seems to be the same strategy for Santa going for the Mixu early... Mixu late, though. Mixu oh, went for Sentinels after Warden. So this is potentially Santa Claus. If they get early, if they clue in, get early Sentinels, they'd have them ready in time before the Thrums come in. It depends how many Thrums. It, it, does Scruffy want it to does. just save him up again? If Scruffy decides to save up for nine Thrums again, it's going to be very hard. Uh, and you won't be able to defend to see it either. Well, Same time. you wouldn't be able to see if it's like if Santa guesses right or scouts it out. If they yep. call it, then Scruffy is done. Well, let's see. Like, what this he comes is a up this with. is a high risk high reward play from Scruffy. Yep. And the Citadel is coming down again for Santa at the front at least. This time it will help defend anything. Uh, but might not be. A, ooh, that's an expensive loss for uh, for Scruffy actually. Trying to find any damage now, Scruffy. You got to leave. You got to leave. You just lost. So, you lost a significant chunk of the army there. You're stuck with thrums. Better hope Santa did not prep. Only one Sentinel. Okay, your hopes are not in vain. Yeah, Sentinel, Sentinel Scepter, and he won't be able to make more. He might cancel the Scepter to get those anti-air units as fast as possible, but the thrums are here, and they're ready to dish out some damage. Now, again, Scruffy making sure that Santa cannot hold this. Like, cause if Scruffy stops the tower from being built, then Santa can't wall this off. And then Scruffy can just keep going. This this just keeps happening forever. So now, just a matter of, Oh, wait, is that Empire Broken? It is Empire Broken. Hmm. Oh, I forgot you can build it on constructing buildings. That's such You a can. It doesn't... They can't obviously do anything, but it'll... Yeah, it'll work. I mean, it'll keep it alive and heal it up afterwards. And once it's healed up and it finishes up... Yeah. That's all you really need, right? Keep it alive. It, just do it doesn't give you the Orzum in place turret thing. Yeah, but that's only on the pillars anyway, so I uh, wouldn't have oh, applied right. this change, spot. Yeah. Yep. yeah, they changed it after a bit. Uh, but yeah, having the extra defense, having the HP, and now it can attack. So yeah, send those problems. The Frums don't want to waste time attacking it again. No, but still, they're getting some damage on the Acropolis. They're cha they're yep. keeping Santa Claus on their toes. Santa going for the counterattack, and if they can get an expansion, then Santa will be 
at least on relatively even footing. But as it stands, Scruffy has had an economic lead for so long now. Yeah, he, as soon as Scruffy beats the space, even if he loses his third, he'll be fine. And his frums are coming in to help defend this, and there's nothing really that... Santa has no end here besides his Senos coming in slowly but surely. Of course, uh, Santa needs to defend this. His resins will be a bit slower. How fast can he get them? Not fast enough, but the thrums, they're back. There's nothing to stop them from killing everything Santa's got in Scruffy's base. And Scruffy can trap them, actually, completely. Santa has no way out from this. Yeah, there's going to be a very expensive loss. Oh, very expensive units. There's Absolvers, the Scepters. So even the Zentari are pretty expensive relative to being Scruffy the first unit. Scruffy finding so much value out of this attack. Potentially loot all for nothing. Able to take out the Scepter, so at the very least, able to protect their ground forces as they get built up. Scruffy ready to transition into the mid game here. Yeah, he needs to, as the Sentinels will take care of all those frums. And Scruffy is done with his frum stuff now. Oh, or at least for now, as more units come in. Resonance on the high ground. Uh, this is some damage, as there's not that many ranged units besides Absolvers, and how much damage what? can he Aerox do? coming! Oh, no! Oh, not great! Santa Claus Mike going away from that perfectly. Scruffy unable to stop this, except for the high ground... The high ground force, so... Scruffy... Scruffy's in trouble. Oh, well, reinforcements are coming in. Here come the Resonance, and as the Resonance pop out, all four of them, this will be enough to defend this. Ah, as there Santa, it is. There it yeah. is. Santa's in trouble now, losing all his units. But of course, behind us, Santa did the damage he needed to, got back his natural up and running. And yeah, we're up to the next step in the game. The the from harass is over. The from damage was done and was powerful. But the counter from Santa was decent enough that uh, we'll see where it goes from here as Scruffy might be ready for his next push as, well, four resonants are out. Her pretty much proper counter for everything being set up here from Santa Claus. Now it's just a question of does Santa Claus decide to go for it straight up or take advantage of Scruffy attacking? The base race would not be in their favor. Oh, definitely not. Those residents are base killers in a half. And Santa kind of out of position, but at this point being so out of position, his opponent has a lead on killing the base. The, ta the Citadels will, will slow down the push quite a lot, though. I mean, you say that, and it slowed down a yeah. bit. It's so a question of whether it slows down enough. I mean, Santa Claus is going for the base race. They do have... Oh, they're not... Are they going for the mud here? That's not a big army, unfortunately. It's not, but they do have at least an extra Acropolis in the corner. While well, Scruffy holds the line here, and they have the units to do it. Oh, Santa wow, that's cannot a lot of push. That's too many Holy cow. Yeah, especially those free ones that just popped at the perfect moment. Uh, Santa's gonna have a lot of trouble going back from this, but he seems to be doing a bit better than I expected in this fight, at least. Oh, uh, the Scepter's able to hold the line. Yep. Sentinels, we're distracting all of those Bone Stalkers. So Scruff, Scruff is getting distracted by Santa's anti-air. It doesn't matter, because that doesn't shoot down, so Santa's... Santa's got free reign. Scruffy yep, won't Santa be able does... to get reinforcements in time. Yeah, Santa does have, uh, does have that secret base, while Scruffy is trying to find a place for it. Same time, Santa is sending his most all over the place to make sure that no matter what, as he kills all his opponent's base, he'll be good. And that's how you can win this game. Kill your opponent's main bases. That is the win condition. Like, for, for reference, that that is actually how you win. GG just... The GG button just causes all your bases to be destroyed. In any event, Scruffy's not letting it happen quickly. Santa's army got slowed down enough. While they do have a secret base, their main is gone. Their natural is gone. They have no economy. And we'll come down to how long it takes for Scruffy to find the hidden expansion. Singular. Hidden yeah. expansion singular. Yeah, there's so few units, though, for Santa, or at least all his units are very low HP at this point. So if Scruffy just managed to get just enough to, to defeat it, uh, he, yeah, look look at how low that Absolver is, especially. Oh, that's huge. That's that good. is huge. Sentinel's gone. The rest of his army is doomed. Has to oh, escape. Yeah. Scruffy defends perfectly, and now it's just a matter of whether they can find this hidden expansion. If they find that, and Santa cannot rebuild another hidden expansion, which, granted, they have the money to do so, but if both hidden expansions get taken out, it doesn't even matter! Santa knows it's a lost cause. Scruffy, one game away from sweeping this finals. One game oh, away from denying Santa that first place. Well, Santa still has a ways to go, but we can still believe in Santa, right? You gotta believe in, in Santa Claus at all times. You can't stop believing just because you got older. Yeah. Or uh, down 2-1. Down 
Santa did 2-0 Scruffy earlier today, so he can go for another 2-0 now if he if he just believes hard enough. If you believe hard enough in the Santa Claus, in Santa Claus, you will pull through. In the heart We're of the going Santa back Claus. To Lost Province. Heart of the Santa Claus. We're going back to Lost Province. It's time to believe. First, now I can think of this one Thrill Ravencroft song that's basically, it's, I can't, I think it's called Do You Believe in Santa Claus or something like that? That's basically like Thrill Ravencroft showing how much of a base he is. <laughs> you know, everyone wants to have a few, as as many bases as you can, right? That's how it I goes. meant the, the pitch range, not the, yeah. The, yeah. Not, oh, really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, he died before video games were invented, so yeah. No, that does make a big difference. Or maybe he didn't know, because he was, he was after in the 60s. He might actually have lived long enough for them to have been invented. When was the first video game came out? When did Pong come out? Was it Pong? 77, oh. I think. Oh, that late. Oh. I'm sure in the army they had games they played. They just, like, talked on the comms, like, yeah, this is a game. It's a video. No, there was no video, I mean, right? I don't know if Thurl Ravencroft... And... I don't know much about the guy. I just know that he mm. did a lot of Christmas song stuff. Like, he was... He was prominent in the, the Grinch TV special and did a bunch of other Christmas stuff. Was... The Tony the Tiger for Frost, the Frosted Place mascot, or the voice of that Ooh. for a long time. Ooh, that's a good role. That's a fun role. All about and... sports and sugar cereal. Yeah. And grumpy monster people who want to take that away from everybody. Hmm. Yeah, so let's see how Santa plays this one out. As he has been saying that it's easy for Orzum to just play some towers and defend with it, but once you're like Scruffy and can attack everywhere at once. Makes it pretty hard to, uh, you know, to, to put enough towers to defend everything. And that's really been the the game plan so far for Scruffy. Just attack in multiple places. Stop your opponent from figuring it out. That has been, but we saw the last couple games. Santa has been playing a very tricksy style. Like the last game, yeah, they were Orzum, but they still went. They still kind of went heavy on tech into. I mean, like, Santa just got completely blind, blind counter titles from. That's true. They did get blinds out of it as well. But now it is yeah. it is going to be Orzum on Orzum. Santa setting up their standard defensive approach, as is Scruffy. Both players pretty much mirroring each other as they know exactly how to play this. Yeah, the Orzum versus Orzum time. Oof, that's a... Uh... So sometimes some people will say that this is going to be the slow matchup as it's hard to break another Orzum. But you do have some good dislodges in the Hallowers. It might get into all the way down to the throne to do some damage. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I, I will expect a 20-minute game. <laughs> I, it would surprise me if the game was shorter than 20 minutes. I, I honestly think that it's... We are going to see you know both sides basically take half the map each. Unless someone breaks early. I just yeah. don't imagine that happening. Neither player is building a strategy that is designed around breaking their opponent early. And both players yeah, have not... the knowledge to not do that. Yeah, neither of them put a proxy soul foundry. Really... Boring gameplay, you know. You gotta put the, the right proxy here. soul foundry. Right, you, you got you got this thing right here. You got your Legion Hall here, but the soul foundry right next to it. It's right there. And then you put an Acropolis right there to help defend the base. Yeah, exactly. Put all your eggs in one basket, as you should. Yeah, you know, like Mr. Kareem did. See, it worked out well for I mean, okay, they did almost be mixed. It did actually work out reasonably well for them. Not I'm not I am not being facetious with that one. I think that there's <laughs> I think some I think to some extent that can be a tool. At least in Krath versus Aru. Okay, so now Scruffy is going for the counterattack while Santa sees this Legion Hall undefended with only two... Oh, two this could be our fast break. That Legion Hall goes down. There's nothing stopping Santa Claus from advancing to Scruffy's base other than, you know, this. But other than the Zentari in their own, Santa Claus won't have any real opposition. Yeah, now there's the issue of Santa at the same time getting his natural completely attacked, but it doesn't matter if he can kill this Legion Hall. And Scruffy needs to be careful. He needs to stay on the Legion on the hollow ground to get that range, but... Oh, Santa seems is ready to go back. As uh, how much damage does Scruffy do in Santa's natural though? Killed a lot of moats. Not a lot of damage to the actual Acropolis. Yeah. Damage to the Ephraim, but didn't finish it off. <laughs> Wait, oh, Scruffy! Wow. Oh, they sneaky, sneaky set up a tower right in the middle of Santa's on Santa's own foundation. I guess that's how he slowed down for Santa to not attack the Legion Hall, and now he has enough units to defend it. Or not, as Santa decides to keep going for the run, for the attack. Oh, no, they'll, they'll know. They'll figure it out. They'll, they'll, they know oh, yeah, eventually, because, right. yeah, they're ranged. You can't... Wait, what? San... Really? Okay, Scruffy's... Scruffy's fine. I mean, they got the defense. They got the absolvers in here. It's just... 
did not expect them to seed the terrain that quickly. You're talking yes, about 20 minute group. game, but it seems talking about 20 minute game, but it seems like Scruffy has a decent lead getting his well, I mean he's mining his expansion and he has the two absolvers yep. out just a bit before Santa. Santa's absolvers will be coming soon. And the tower's not the up. Tower's oh, this 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 forward's doomed. Scruffy yeah, Santa wants to Santa wants to come in, but those fours and Tari can't take down those Absolvers. He can get the counter Legion Hall at the very least, so that's some counter damage. But how fast can he get it? Uh, both of them have enough for Empire and Broken. Could be worth it for Scruffy at this point. And indeed it As is! he is heading back to defend it. Yep, he's heading yeah, back to I've, defend it. No, he this want is, Santa to take it. Like, this is what I said before. If, but now flipped around, Scruffy did take out the Legion Hall, does have an opening to break into Santa's base whenever they like. And has the control of the center. Like, Santa's yeah. lost that contest. He's Man, this is just a tough start for Santa. He didn't lose his, his natural, but he did lose the E for Extractor, and now that means a pretty big lead for Scruffy. Santa behind us, he needs to find a way back into this game. What does he do? He's going to proxy something. That's the way it is. You either proxy, hidden try expansion. to get ahead with economical play. Uh, but yeah, not hidden expansion for him. Hidden engineer, most likely. I don't know. That's it's waiting for 350, expansion? getting on top of the expansion thing. It... Uh, we'll see. There's some action happening at the front, though, so he doesn't have time for this. But there's enough Absolvers at the front to help defend anything. He won't be able to do too much. Solver's going for the rocks. Scruffy looking to find that path in to avoid having to break through the high ground. And break through the setup. Break through the wall, really. Santa Claus has completely defended everything but the rocks. And Scruffy, finding the one opening in Santa Claus' defenses, goes for it hard as Santa... Goes for some counter harassment, which is simply not going to be fast enough against what Scruffy is throwing at them. Bastion goes down. Empire and Broken is not going to be enough to hold it. Mount Alloy Line is also done right now. So Santa Claus forced to get out of position to retreat, forced to walk into their opponent's approach, forced to basically. I don't think forced to fall back here, but that's not going to do a lot of damage in the meantime. Scruffy, We've talked about though, this before. Are they gonna... <gasps> Losing your whole army hurts a lot, and that's what Scruffy's about to do. He's getting surrounded by Santa, and Santa has the Absolver set up. He has more units. The Zephyrs are powerful, but the Absolvers are just so much more powerful. Those standing pizza throwers getting the damage in as those Zephyrs are trying to run away, okay, but there's fine. no one to run. Oof. One step out of there. Our one survives, maybe? That's not worth it. Scruffy is Coward. able to build behind it, at least, so it's not a complete loss. And more importantly, having gone for Zephyrs, they have stopped the Scepter from doing a whole lot of damage. So Santa's harassment attempts were rebuffed. Yep. Scruffy. Was... Who wins out of this one? Okay. Yeah, who's ahead at this point? It's hard to say, as Scruffy had the good lead in the early game, killing one of his bonus production structures. Oh. But this attack was... Oh my god. <laughs> right, of course we he forgot does about that. Of course he does that. So I'm noticing, oh, there's a little blue dot here in the minimap. What with... oh, oh, yeah, no. right, Santa Claus. Oh, is it going to matter, though? Scruffy with the high ground oh. position on the easy path. Oh, like, that's why you set up... Going... Yeah, that's why you set up here, because if your opponent tries to attack move into your base, they're going to go through there. Or yeah, they Alder very likely out, will. Alder is out for Scruffy. The perfect counter that Citadel, of course, is going to take a long time to kill it. Send that heading to his own Citadel to heal up. Uh, but this is going to be a long, long time, as a few monsters will be killed by that Citadel as it... He was doing some damage. It's Scruffy going back to the main. He wants to kill Santa's main. This time, does Santa have enough to defend? Doesn't even have enough to defend the natural right now. Everything is at the third, completely in the wrong spot to stop Santa, stop Scruffy from wrecking everything Santa's been desperately holding on to this game. Pillar dropping oh, for Scruffy as well. Going all in on this natural expansion, and I can't say I blame them. That goes down. Santa Claus has basically no economy. Yeah, the, the Sentinels are here. There's not much end here. If he gets Sentinels, yeah, he can get Absolvers as fast as possible. But at the same time, the Zephyrs are the ones countering it. But again, if he kills the whole army of Scruffy, this is a big army, big expensive army. And that's the second he's time, not too. He's not that well. Yeah, that is the second time well. Scruffy's lost an entire army here. Santa Claus, despite the economic disadvantage, has kept themselves in the game by taking well-positioned fights. And also just the Scepter. I mean, they, they tech. Santa has yep. positioning and tech on their side. Ooh, man, he, he seems so far ahead. Scruffy keep, kept being far ahead, but then he's commits so hard to these attacks. And yet, Santa defends really well. And that always brings Santa back into the game. At this point, Scruffy seems to be on the back ropes again. Uh, losing his Legion Hall at the front, so they've both done that at least. It's been a long time. 
but this Legion All is the one last thing that kind of kept Scruffy defended. And now with that gone, Santa Claus is going to be well positioned to start just applying pressure consistently right in Scruffy's front door. Yeah, but Scruffy has a decent army. Those the Hallower with uh, the Hallower of Zephyr is a decent combo to deal with this. Of course, Settlers have so much HP; it's gonna be hard to actually kill everything. Uh, but Scruffy seems willing to give it a shot. He stays away from the Zolver range and kills the tower before it comes down. Well, Zephyrs are gonna be the main problem as the Scepters cannot find a whole lot of damage, but it's enough. It is still enough. The splash damage doing what it needs to do to keep those Zephyrs from getting a critical mass, and now Santa Claus continues to push. Scruffy has very little to stop them. Santa Claus, like, yeah, why go for the army? The soft Killing underbelly it. of the main base is wide open. He did kill the Absolvers, which was a decent hit, but it's not quite enough killing his, uh, those Absolvers as the Hallowers come back in to stop them from moving too far forward. Zephyr's coming in to deal with those with those Scepters, but good micro Scruffy. from Santa, saving one. One goes down. Sa Santa focused more on the harassment as well. And setting up potential. Oh, well, you don't have the pirate for that, but still, they have the harassment on the on the mode line while Santa pushes in from the front. Scruffy desperately looking to defend this. Does have the Hallowers in the back line, but it's just a question of do the Scepters get through this? The answer is becoming increasingly no. Reinforcements from Santa Claus are on the way. Most of them to deal with in any air defenses. Santa Claus has managed to get rid of the Zephyrs. Scruffy has nothing to hold this off with other than the reinforcements just now. Yeah, there's more Zephyrs coming in, but the Scepters haven't stopped coming. There's four Scepters still, which is the same number as those as those Zephyrs. Zephyrs have their work cut out for them as they jump on top and try to take him out. But the Scepters, they, they can hide away with the terrain. And yeah, even the low health HP one stays alive. He tries to win step forward and gets one, does he? Does he barely miss does it again? Does get away! Gets, oh. just barely escapes to heal up. And all this time, Santa oh finally went for the proxy expansion. On top of their third. So Santa on four bases against Scruffy with two. One of which has been heavily harassed recently. Scruffy... Man, they lost that Legion... They lost that that fire base up front, and now they're paying for it. They lost the army twice, and now they're struggling to maintain any kind of defensive force. Yeah, Scruffy seems so poised to take this game, but in the end, Santa just dealing with the attacks just perfectly, losing as few units as possible while killing his opponents. And getting and the Scepters yeah. to counter their composition directly. Yeah, Scepters has been so powerful this game. Really dishing out the damage and, you know, they're here going to cast gifts from Scruffy. And this might just be the hard counter he needed to deal with this because you look at the armies right now. I prefer Scruffy's army, but it I depends how you attack it in this. It's just a matter of when, you... yeah, it's positioning. Because if the, if the Scepters get enough high ground free damage, they wipe out the Zephyrs. The Castigators aren't numerous enough to really be a threat. And the Hallowers are not going to contend against the Zentari. So the Zephyrs are the key force. Santa Claus just needs to break the Zephyrs from this army, and they'll be fine. It's down to, well, okay, Santa's going for a full contain, getting a Citadel on both sides. So Scruffy is really contained here. While Santa has his four bases, Scruffy taking his fourth, but there's a Citadel on top there as well. Double checks the army too. Uh, Scruffy. I mean, this harassment did actually do a decent amount of damage last time with the Scepters. Sca Santa Claus getting ready to keep pushing that. And again, Santa Claus maintains his economic advantage, which Scruffy is now contesting. So we'll see if Santa Claus holds on to it over time. Yeah, here comes the next unit, slowly but surely. Hmm. Oh, Magi. Heal up your own units. That's a good That's a good. Good plan. And this base gets detected from, uh, from Scruffy. But Scruffy, is there something he can do as he needs to defend his base at the same time? Uh, Santa repositioning to deny Scruffy's fourth, and Scruffy at the same time was heading out to deny uh, Santa's original fourth, but he's already taking another one. But the Scruffy has enough. Oh, enough Cascaders are great. The Cascaders are completely great. in position for this. Scepters were not. The base is still doomed. Zephyrs are not. Are they going to last? They're not going to last against the Centauri. They're getting cornered. The wind step is not enough. Sa Scruffy cannot save their ground forces. They cannot save their base. Santa Claus, keep the units alive. Gets out of there. They took their base. They took the base. They took the damage. They have a tower to retreat to, and Scruffy cannot contest without losing too much. I, I, at first, I thought that Scruffy just defended well enough to have a lot of to win that unit fight. But in the end, Santa keeps pushing forward. Now and Santa's Antares. Santa's Antares did it. Castigators 
from Scruffy are simply not enough to hold the line. Sanic, if they, like, Sanic can keep pushing. Just slow push into this, has the healing, has the, has the territory control. Has the army advantage, for sure. It's just so hard did to deal with this. Did lose the south base. Scruffy did take that out. So Scruffy yeah, has at least gotten a small win. Yeah, Scruffy's still pushing forward. Can go to for Santa's new fourth base. And they can he's... try, but there's a there's a wall. Yeah, they're completely surrounded, though. Like, uh, Scruffy is just a bit surrounded. Getting his third base up is good. Uh, they're both basically on the same level of economy at this point. Oh, not upgraded his base quite yet. Oh, oh wow. right, the Bastion's disabled because it's past 14 minutes. That scepter just perfectly placed, but... The no, the, the Bastion in. can't hit it. Like, the Bastion oh, yeah. is... It's... Or is it disabled? It should be disabled sure. for... I know for economy it is. Yeah, I think it stays in the tower, but doesn't get disabled as a defensive tower. Oh, okay, so uh, that was just perfect positioning. Yeah. That annoying his stuff has done this before, but here comes the oh. big fight. Santa has absol uh, Hallowers of his own. Uh, at this point, of the Hallowers to dislodge everything, Scruffy seems in a bad position as he tries to defend this as best he can. The throne doing as much, D and there's that... only two Zephyrs. There's only, there's two, only two Zephyrs here. and two Magi, and the throne is not lasting. Oof, man. That's, a, that's not a position to be in. That is, a, that is a mood. Casting is doing their best against uh, everything, but at this point, there's almost no air left. Only two lone uh, lone scepters to attack but Cassio goes down counterattack from scruffy gets cleaned up by santa and santa seems to be poised to come back on the board which is going to be unless scruffy pulls something out of his hat well let's see what the comments of their hat are it's thrones it's zephyr it's centauri and it's a gg santa claus two, two. evens out the series two two and where does scruffy go next he gets the final map choice here and yeah, that's the exciting part. They want Lost Province. They want to run it back. All right, game five. Grand finals where Santa Claus might be able to take their first first place in the last three months. Mm. It'll be an interesting game. We've had a... That was a very back and forth game. We said it last over 20 minutes. It went about to 15. Uh, but just so much back and forth from the very start. Both attacking in different places, trying to outmaneuver their opponents. And in the end, uh, it kind of came down to Scruffy outmaneuvering himself, trying to get the win. But uh, yeah, Santa came back in. They got, yeah, Santa Santa hit them right as they're out of position. Right at the end there. Because Scruffy was starting to get back into it, but having to take out Santa's bases while also defending against Santa's push while having an army disadvantage, that's very difficult to... That's a difficult balancing act. Uh, Especially as Orzum, without having any way of moving around. I think we'll see what... They go for, for maybe the final game. It'll be Zol again. Scruffy back to their comfort pick. That Has won them two games so far. Yeah, makes sense. Go back to what won you the two games. Of course, the two games won, were on Fool's Base. I was like, oh, maybe he wants to go back there, but nah, he's good No, here. that was their pick. They they picked Lost Province. They have a plan. And they have played Santa quite a bit on this map. Uh, just in practice games, Scruffy and Santa are two of the most arduous practice partners since uh, along with Magico. So they've played a lot of this game. Yep. And they've practiced a lot, so... They know their other, each other's play styles. They know, I mean, Santa knew what Scruffy, probably saw what Scruffy did last game a few times before. Yep. But sometimes it's just deciding on what type of push you want to go for. It's like, oh, I'm going to take the risk that he doesn't go for this and just get that tiny lead. And it cost him quite a bit. It cost him everything, really. Well, that's, that's a risk you take. I mean, it was, mm. it was like the fact that Scruffy did lose their forces, I think, because when you're playing Zoli, you have a little bit more room. Your forces are cheaper. You, I mean, you don't want to lose them if you can help it, but it's a bit easier to rebuild them if you do, and a bit easier to set up run buys and small things to take out bases. With Orzum, it's a lot harder to have that kind of push. You can yeah. do it with, like, two Zentari. You, you don't need that many units to do it, but it's still... Because you're so dependent on this defensive network of, tor of towers and hallowed ground, if you get out of that especially if you spread around the map, it's a lot harder to maintain with Orzum than the other Immortals. Yeah. Um, yeah, harder I, to maintain. Yeah. Zol's going to have some trouble maintaining that for sure. Zol will, but Zol at least, again, they, the units are cheaper. They have the ability to just summon Zol herself anywhere on the map to yeah. provide extra power, firepower. And you've got... You don't have... You're not dependent on towers. Like, you're not even really dependent on Rootway as you have Underspines to provide it anywhere. Not true. 
Well, you have Magi. Oh, no, not as... Oh, yeah, Zorzum, you have Magi, so you can always do that if you really want Hallowed Ground everywhere. If that's true, which we did see Santa use at the end of the game. Yeah, uh, just get... Well, often I often feel you get Magi more for the healing, but it works both ways. Really? Because I don't know, I was thinking that it was more of a... Deploy thing, more yeah. The, yeah, more of the Hallowed Ground. Yeah. Well... As it stands, neither player really looking for anything tricky. They just want an honest fight, honest contest for a little bit of early map control, and honest economy. Which has been a bit of a, see, a tone change from how this series has gone so far, except maybe the last game. Well, they both went for economy early on. They just went for a Legion Hall forward and they kept attacking each other. And... Yes, exactly. Oh, yeah, time. it was still, it, like, we aren't even seeing that this game. Santa is still playing Orzum. They're just playing a much more conservative oh. in their base Orzum. Completely in their base. Look at look at Santa just going for the for the Tower Foundation to very start. Yeah, Santa is not. Santa's defense. sacrificing map control really hard. Scruffy can get all this pyre for free. And he will. He, that's what he's heading for. And Santa, well, with two Zephyr, two Zentar, you can do a decent amount against uh, those six Bone Stalkers or so. Uh, eight, yeah, eight bone but six Bone Stalkers plus is all. And yeah, that's yeah, that starts pushing that's, it. Yeah, the Zola, the Zola, the Zola is a pretty good breakpoint to to try and kill your opponent. And getting all that power you can afford. Her. At the very least, setting up a contain like Santa Claus. I don't, I don't think Scruffy needs to push in. But if they keep Santa Claus from doing any damage outside and just build outside of that, or go that. for backyard harassment, that works too. See how well that pays well, off once they get set up. Yeah, especially in Santa just went for the tower at the front, so you don't want to attack there for sure. But finding another way in is the way for Scruffy as he's attacking those rocks, and they're going down so fast. Hey, Santa Claus must have clued him by now. Like, Scruffy is not going high tech. Uh, they are getting resonance eventually, but they're not going fast tech. So there yeah, isn't an opening for Durban. They're not. not like, Durban's Resolver does have an opening. Yeah, Scruffy needs to be careful again. Going for the back door, he doesn't want to lose all his units again. Uh, which has been very expensive in the last few games. You're, he's yeah. waiting for his residents oh. to come out. Yeah, they are they opened it up for later purposes. They're not... They're being very careful this time around. I mean, they know. They know that it did not pay off. It gave them some damage, but it was a Pyrrhic victory. Okay. Residents coming in with... Extra reinforcements giving Scruffy the room. They need to push back against anything Santa's got built up, honestly. Like, Santa's sacrificing map control. If it's going to bite them, it's going to bite them in the next two minutes. <laughs> and might very well might bite them as Scruffy's coming in for a big timing attack and get a resonance or a big timing attack uh, factor here. And going through the back, the qu the biggest issue is just going too far forward, right? If you try and keep oh. position at the high ground, it might be good. Santa does see this coming. They are retreating. They are keeping their forces back as well. The so Scruffy's Scruffy's window of opportunity is closing rapidly. Setting up a bait. Santa's not falling for it right now. He doesn't I mean, need they, to. All his buildings, they don't need all to, his no. buildings are protected. Yeah, exactly. Protected. As long as they don't as long as they're not playing careless, they're fine. Yeah, there's towers Scruffy, on both sides. Scruffy! Oh, don't be too far forward, we're gonna lose a resident for nothing. In fact, going to be forced out of there completely. Santa Claus able to defend in that crucial two-minute period, and now taking out two resonance for free, getting run by with the Dervish as well, and getting that third expansion set up. Santa Claus is in an amazing position into the mid-game. Yeah, this is what Santa was going for. He wanted this win, and he's going for it with the best Orzum he can handle, getting the Dervish in his opponent's base, getting the tower set up to defend every single position. He's getting, he has map control at this point, which was what he usually sacrificed by doing that, but he has everything. No, they, they got it back. They got map control back from that one, like, defending that attack. Scruffy cannot contest in the middle of the map. Santa's got, they have enough pyre for anything, and they are, they are ready to go. Yeah, the question There's is, no will fear. he go for a slow push, or will he go for a nah. big pillar to finish They off have the a turn? pillar. They have a pillar on deck. They could go for it. That's five resonance. That's five resonance. Oh, that is five. Oof. Okay, well, they're going to be... Okay, that's... Maybe, maybe not, then. Maybe, maybe a little bit <laughs> of tower setup be a thing. Yep. 
Yeah, I think with two residents, you go for it. But with uh, five residents, okay, let's just keep control here. That's... But Scruffy won't let it come up. I don't have anything. Scruffy have... doesn't want to let oh. it come up. Okay, this is this is going to be difficult. Yeah. They aren't going to hold us at all. Giving the Tower Foundation to Scruffy. Even losing turn? the Absolver on the way on the retreat. And now Scruffy is very happy with this. He gets full control of that of that space. He'll see if Santa tries to move up there. Well, full control, but the yeah. timing is such that they don't have much power to get off of it. No, that's fine. They don't need the power right now. They just need to come back into this game as, uh, you know, they that do. early push just put them a bit behind. And uh, yeah, th this is the perfect opportunity. He got the Absolver kill. Yeah, now Santa is moving into the next step, which seems to be a lot of Scepters again. Scepter, Magi, Zentari, Zephyr. So all infantry, but Scepters for crowd control. Okay, a little bit, a little bit of extra crowd control, but basically it's... They don't want to risk losing their big forces. They know the Resonance can take out Absolvers, no problem. So going for the forces that just try to overwhelm with numbers, looks like. Numbers and clever positioning. Yep, Scepters are pretty good at taking care of the Absol if, uh, Resonance. Of, uh, yeah. the Resonance if he wants to go for it. Uh, Bone Stalkers do have their cloak, so you won't see them to start with. And Behemoths are on their way, though. Yeah, Scruffy was stacking up to the latest stages. Wants to go for Behemoths to really deal with this army. Behemoths are, are great because... They, sh they shoot out their free units, right? You're, you're, tra you're trading free for nothing. Yeah. Oh, hello, Bone Stalker. Yeah, he was good, invisible. Good of you to up. see Santa Claus's army movements so that Scruffy has a chance to fall back and defend instead of being caught out of position. I mean, that's the mark of a great uh, of the of the best players. They'll be sending out their, their units, and even if you lose it, knowing where your opponent is 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 worth the investment of losing that unit. And was there something at the base? Wait. I don't see anything. I did Scruffy anticipate? Oh, maybe anticipated the rocks are destroyed. No, that's mostly. In either mostly event, they're able to regroup with the Behemoths if nothing else. So, hey, didn't get attacked. Got their full army. It's going to be that much harder for Santa Claus to deal with. It's and a good this is really for to be in. Yeah, it's a really powerful army that he has now. Scruffy, Santa has to figure out how to deal with all these air units. He has some of his own, but he doesn't. Okay, he has four Zephyrs for the anti air that won't deal with the Behemoths. <laughs> And, oh my god, another tower for Scruffy. Santa won't be I, happy with like, that. Tower foundations do be like that. You got you got to be mindful of them. If you lose the tower, you don't lose the foundation. You can't delete it either. It's neutral. Yeah, and you can't attack into that zone either at all because, oh, there's four, five Five residents. grams, yeah. Well, the Howler's going to help. The Santa Claus does have a counter, but that's what? still not a whole lot of DPS. Yeah, going for that tower is good, though. That's a good move from Santa. Realizing his opponent's out of position, he can get this one. And set up his own tower if he wants. But, of course, the army of Scruffy is able to deal with this. What comes out to position. Well, they, if they are, are if they're in position, Resonance do get set up. But Pillar dropping right on top of them. That'll... Ooh, three of them. Delete. Delete three Resonance. Why not? Santa Claus getting that opening to work with. Although, again, forced to seed the tower. But hey, Zoltan have the f doesn't buy for it. Santa's actually doing all right. They got an extra base on behind that. They got they got their army in a reasonable position on off the back of that as well. So they're just they're doing fine. Yeah, they're both playing it as safe as possible. I mean, can you blame them? It is game five of the of this tournament, like game five of the grand finals. They're yep. It comes down to what type of army composition they want to end up with. Santa going for more of a like, he's letting go of Absolvers to go for a bit more mobile army. And sometimes they're both fighting for the same Tower Foundations time after time. I mean, those Behemoths is so good because they have that big range advantage. Okay. He's trying to... Oh. He's done with that. Yeah. Well, they, they're they running out of Pyre. Like, they had a bunch of Spare Pyre before, but they had to burn it on, you know, summoning Zol and building the towers, and it's just not worth it. Yeah, he needed to survive. That's the whole point. Survive yep. and try to do as much damage. And, because, man, both of them just taking their half of the map and won't necessarily come down to the final fight, but they'll have to get each other out of position, get that big fight in, as both of them just getting the economy up as fast as possible, as it starts drying up in, I don't know, four or five minutes. There's time. It does, though Santa Claus is... Uh, Scruffy's triple expanding. Santa Claus does potentially have the army to work with here. It's a matter of when they can set it up, the Castigators and Thrones, to help deal with the Behemoths. The question, of course, being the Bone Stalkers. How well can they set up to stop that? The answer is not very. Okay, here comes they the are in trouble. Behemoths all clumped up together. Exactly the wrong thing for Scruffy as Santa Claus starts wiping everything out. And... Oh. Wait. 
That was a new visual effect. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I've seen it before. <laughs> I was also quite curious about it. I uh, think oh. that's... Oh, Rafe Oh, yeah, that is that is the route. That is the... Oh, the fight is coming, and he's out of position. Nice. He's attacking into it. He's jumping into on top the of Into the tower. Why, though? Why jump into the tower? Santa Claus getting torn apart as a result. Santa thought he had him on a rose, but in the end, it seems like Scruffy counterattacks, but now he counterattacks up the hill. Those behemoths are getting decimated by those by those castigators. Only two left. The castigators moving forward to finish him off. And one left, and it goes down as well. If only Bone Stalkers left, the expensive army of Scruffy is kaput. As Santa keeps some of his army alive as well. The only thing going for Scruffy tech-wise being my fully upgraded stalkers and the Red Seers. Which have been getting some decent roots off, but have not been able to get anything really following that up. It comes out okay, they're coming to Wraith Boss. You need something to do with the thrones. And Santa might just be going for a lot of thrones at this point. So a lot of thrones around the map. Scruffy has an opening to go for a counterattack at the cost of their bases. They would win a base race if they went for it. I whether they know this or not remains to be seen. Yeah, going after the base race is always a dangerous proposition. At this time, he might just want to surround his foes and, you know, the, the few times that, uh, that like, catch your opponent off guard and kill him that way. Uh, not sure if that's what he do. Is he, he can completely cut off Santa's ex exit point at this point, but he seems to want to defend his uh, his fourth base instead. Well, that's understandable. I mean, that if he loses that, then there's basically not much else that's actually active or will be active for long. Yep. And he gets it. He gets a decent position though. The pillar comes down. He really wants to defend this position. Santa using his ultimate, and Scruffy forced to move back. Is nothing to really jump out that position. No, any type of a dislodging tool. Having lost the resonance, they yeah. Scruffy is pretty much relying on Behemoths for this, and they were not where they needed to be. And Behemoths, but there are four castigators. It's really dangerous to attack into this. Santa is still expanding behind us. Scruffy seems to have been a rough spot, but if he gets the right engagement, he can take care of this. No, a pirate camp, right? Why not? Yeah, that extra pyre miner on top of everything else. Oh, what? No! The, the soldiers are still there! Scruffy's bone stalk is getting ripped to pieces. Cannot attack into this. Does get the plague. That is the one thing. A fair bit of damage was dealt to the army. This softens them up enough, maybe? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> Okay, another play coming down as uh, those observers will get hit again. Going through the troll point is always a dangerous choice. Uh, but Scruffy, at the very least, got the plague off. All those observers are very low HP and will need to head back home to heal up. Well, dislodging one way or another. Yeah, and then dislodging two in the spell is another way to go about it. There's more and more behemoths coming down. That's one way that Scruffy can take care of this. Scruffy also taking the base at the bottom, really helping him out here. And this is pretty crucial is Santa Claus doesn't seem aware of it at all. Yeah, both of them seem pretty equal on economy, pretty equal on army value. Uh, it'll come down to the fights. If if there's more blood plagues, they can really weaken up the units before they go into the fight. That's a huge advantage for Scruffy. If not, the Croft army seems really powerful and hard to take down. As a, What are the powerful units on Zal's side? There's the Behemoths, but the rest, there's a lot of... Uh... Behemoth, oh. Red Seer, that's... and some remaining res resonance. Yeah, there's a, there's a super race both as well that can help a lot. But the Bone Stalkers are a bit of a cannon fodder at this point of the game. Cannon kind of, are... kind of, but they're also the strongest asset that Zol has against air. Like, if they set up the ambushes properly, those Bone Stalkers will be able to deal with the Thrums effectively. Yeah, that throne will stay there in position. Okay, that's a nice counterattack as Santa goes back, goes through the middle. And, yeah, of course, Scruffy is maxed out right now, so he might just want to be ch trading out his Bone Stalkers for something else. And if he gets a base where it, why not? And the fight is happening in the middle. Uh, who will be in the lead? Behemoth coming in a bit Swords late. coming down. B binding the Scepters in a position with the, those Castigators too far forward. Santa Claus losing their anti-air. Scruffy unable to continue to push next to Santa Claus Absolvers and the Hallowers. But Santa Claus unable to take out the Behemoths either. Bit of a stalemate, though Santa Claus taking the base in the meantime. Oh, such great position for those Behemoths going near the top where they weren't able to attack the Castigators without them exposing themselves. Get, getting that air, ter air only terrain is great. And behind us, of course, Scruffy, the counterattack was perfect. Kills that base. Uh, but spots, Santa... the spots the 6 o'clock. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? Because of that, well, the throne was already there to spot it. Uh, will Scruffy try to trap this army? This army is kind of in a bad position, but it's a powerful army. You can't really attack into this. Going for the well, counterattack. The question is, yeah, go for the counterattack. There's no army. Everything's just rallying down. It's going to be caught completely out of position. 
Some damage being dealt. Santa Claus regrouping valiantly. They just do not have the forces to really deal with Scruffy's assault. Not in position, anyway. Root comes in, and yeah, the mining is coming off for Santa right now. Santa doing his best. He has a strong and powerful army, but he's out of position right now. More yeah, you got to you got to split form. it. You got to figure out who goes where. Like, make that decision now because you are losing a base, a base that's granted almost done mining. That's not something you want to lose if you can help it. But at the cost of five, four, five behemoths, six possibly. Is this Scruffy's entire army going to go down here as a as the sacrifice for Santa's third base? Yes, it is. Santa getting so much of an advantage off of this fight. And Scruffy's going to lose the rest of his army. We look at the army value. Both of them losing a lot here. Scruffy killed the economy of his, of his opponent, but at the same time, lost his whole army. Needs to rebuild it ASAP if he wants to survive the next push. What is rebuilding? More behemoths? More strong units? No, it's just oh. Bone Stalkers. They are oh, out no. of ether. Like, Stalkers. there's a handful of behemoths coming left. They're coming up, that are left, but there's no ether income anymore. The main's down, natural's down, third's almost down. Fourth is the only thing really, fourth and third are the only thing providing ether income. So Scruffy's going to rely entirely on mass bone stalkers going forward, and Santa Claus, with their mass absolvers, has the tool to stop them. Oh man, this. Oh, and no, trap them off. as it stands. This, these bone stalkers are stuck. Yeah, well, their last not... stand. Well, that's not too bad. Behind all this, it allowed Scruffy the time to rebuild his expensive units. There's only one Castigator left here, and as he's rebuilding Behemoths as his main tech stuff, he might be okay with the next fight if he can just take out those two Castigators in the next push. Uh, but yeah, killing at least he killed the base of his opponent. Santa's they economy's did. in shambles. They It'll did. Losing that base is a significant blow, but Santa, Santa, while they lost that base, they lost no army in the meantime. Yeah, well, like, that okay, was a free don't... kill. Yeah, Bone Stalker's coming in on the left side, going for more economy of his opponent. And where does Scruffy want to expand next? And okay, the base is still kind of mining. Well, the Efer is mining, which is the important yeah. part. Problem here is that Scruffy doesn't have a whole lot of alloy. They had a ton of alloy to rebuild this army, but now they've lost it because they were maxed out. Oh, here comes pillar the pillar dropping. Comes down. Why is it there? Oh no, Santa Claus! I think they misclicked the pillar position. Trying to find that stroke point to work for them, it's something. At the very least, keeps them taking full damage, but Santa Claus lost so much pyre in the meantime. The Orzum oh, no. Tower, not, or Orzum Turret thing, not going to help them there. Scruffy, in the meantime, taking out the under construction southwest base, forcing them to cancel. And now Santa Claus, way behind an army supply, behind an army value as well. If they can get the position of the Absolvers, they might get back in this, but so many Bone Stalkers are on the field comes down to he can't kill the behemoths. He wanted to go for that push, but as soon as he held the behemoths, he knew he only had two caskiers, and you can't attack how many behemoths that four or that five. Was three, yeah, but especially not without support. Like, you can't attack into that. If they're attacking into you, you're fine. Oh, but, he's attacking into him, but oh, it might be too, no, low, too late. Oh, no, they're not fine anymore. Santa Claus lost all their force. This this could be it. Scruffy takes it 3-2 to deny Santa Claus another first place. Santa Claus second place. Scruffy winning their second tournament in the last three months. EG's. And that, that was very well played. Games. Going Holy free one cow. in the finals. You know, Scruffy went 0-2 to Santa in the early game, but kept it all for the finals and just showed his medal at the final games here. He's going, he went up 3-2 in the finals and great games from our good friend Scruffy. <laughs> I can't believe that turned around as much as it did. I mean, just for how much Santa Claus had a solid advantage going into that game, and Scruffy was just done. They were out of ether. They were relying entirely on Bone Stalkers, which granted are good, but it was it kind of just came down to Santa Claus attacking into that choke point. Yeah, well, there, there were a few fights that were, you know, that that weren't the best for either player. Both of them take some fights that could have gone better, but in the end, you know, it just came down behemoths. Yep. They ruled the sky. They ruled the sky, even though the they ruled the sky, were... and the Bone Stalkers came in by surprise. Yep. The surprise feel, man. That's uh, that's what Zol's about. Come in by surprise, surprising your opponent. I can't wait to see more of that. Yeah, that is that is in fact what Zol's about. Like that's if you want to play surprise, the immortal that's all about surprises and ambushes and sneakiness. Then Zol is the immortal for you. But for that matter, we are going to be done for today. So thank you to all the people who signed up so we could have a tournament today. Thank you to Simus as well for organizing the tournament so we could have a tournament today as well. Thank you ZK for coming in to co-commentate. It was always a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to come by. And thank you to all of you for watching. Have a good night, everyone.